This is calculator question number 19 from practice test 6 in the 2018 College Board prep book. It's also October 2016 SAT. College Board gives us a diagram for stairs along with the riser tread formula which they tell us we're going to be using where H is the height of a riser and D is the depth. And the question is an architect wants to use the riser tread formula to design a stairwell with a rise of 9 feet tread height, riser height between 7 and 8, and an odd number of steps, which could be the tread depth, which is this horizontal distance. If I try 7.2 in the riser tread formula, 2H plus 7.2 equals 25, subtract 7.2 from both sides, and 2H equals 17.8 over 2, H equals 8.9, which is greater than 8. But we were told that depth, the riser height should be between 7 and 8, and this is greater, so 7.2 does not work. Let's try the largest choice also. 2H plus 15 equals 25. Subtract 15 from both sides to get 2H by itself. 2H equals 10. If I divide by 2, I get H equals 5, which is also not between 7 and 8. So choice D, 15, does not work for the architect's constraints. Let's try choice B, 2H plus 9.5 equals 25. Subtract 9.5 from both sides. 2H equals 15.5, divide by 2 and 8 equals 7.75, which is between 7 and 8, so that works. But we also want an odd number of steps. So let's take the total rise, which is 9 feet, convert to inches, so 9 times 12 would be the number of inches, and divide by 7.75, and I'm not going to do that in my head. 9 times 12 divided by 7.75, is 13.94, which I'm going to call 14 steps. But we want an odd number of steps, so that doesn't work either. This suggests the correct answer would be C. I'm going to erase this so I have room for computation and try one more time. With a tread depth D of 10.6, I have 2H plus 10.6 equals 25. Subtract 10.6 from both sides. 2H equals 14.4. Divide both sides by 2, and H equals 7.2, which is between 7 and 8. So that is a possible answer. Let's check the number of steps. 9 times 12 the height of 9 feet times 12 inches per foot divided by 7.2 gives me exactly 15 steps. Which is an odd number of steps. So I have a total rise of 9 feet, an odd number of steps, and the riser height is 7.2, which is between 7 and 8. So I've met all of the ar architect's criteria. Choice C is the only choice that meets all of those ar architect's criteria. So that would be the correct answer. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.